Hello everyone, I'm Suruchi. Welcome to Dictionary Manager, previously known as OCL for OpenMRS. Dictionary Manager squad is composed of implementers, developers, fellows, developers, volunteers, and content management experts from different organizations working together to solve common content management problems. So the common problems that we are committed to solve are it's designed for non-technical staff who need to manage concepts. User can reuse their previous work and no migration scripts are needed for content to be imported. User can see the public work done by other organizations and can use sources to quickly pull together a dictionary. Now let's see what is Dictionary Manager. Dictionary Manager is a front-end UI web app which leverages the OCL database and API and the goal is to manage concepts more easily for OpenMRS. Now, what do we need to set up in order to use Dictionary Manager? It's quite easy. All you need to do is sign up in Open Concept Lab for OpenMRS web app. It's a ready to use web app. Further, you can see the demo. Use the demo through openmrs.demo.openconceptlab.org. Now you must be thinking, what if I'm using a different system? The underlying OCL system itself is not OpenMRS specific. So the focus is on medical terminology, but not technically limited to it. The concepts built in Dictionary Manager are updated in OCL itself, which means if we choose to switch away from OpenMRS, the concepts are still available in OCL. Now let's go back to 2020 where we started developing Dictionary Manager web app. So far we have a successful implementation in Bamni and MSF use case in Bangladesh. If you have any question about the implementation and experience on how concept management is improved with OCL, please reach out to Michael Bontis and know more about it. Now let's reflect back to 2021 and see what we had done during the year. The major achievement is the cloning feature. And with the help of this feature, user can clone any concepts from any sources and add to his dictionary and customize on his own. The feature will give user to customize concepts one by one after pulling it to their personal dictionary. Another major achievement is automated test and unit test. Dictionary Manager web app is now fully tested with many end-to-end -end automated tests and functional tests which, also which are also reflected in QA framework dashboard. In the last quarter of 2021, we have started exploring OCL and Dictionary Manager UI unification. So we have developed a app switcher button between the two apps. Now you must be thinking how Dictionary Manager Squad is deciding on roadmaps and priorities to work on new and improved features. For the roadmap and to determine priorities, we do different types of user research, which help us to understand our user. This year we did three types of user research methods, which includes UAT, user interviews, and user testing. UAT, user acceptance testing. We did UAT with three of our implementers for a, for a feature clear content review, which would give user ability to uh, see what concepts will be imported in OpenMRS while importing it from the dictionary manager. The design was first tested among the implementers and then finalized and then only given to developer. Further, we did user interview and user testing for better user understanding and UI UX research in both OCL and Dictionary Manager. We also have a blog post about our approach in OpenMRS site. Please visit to know more about it. Now let's dive into our user persona. Uh, let's meet our first user persona, Devin, who is a senior developer for implementation and he primarily focuses on implementation, reporting and standards. What he says is, 
I care most about user experience with forms. So I want a standard set of concepts so that I can rely on it later too. Without having to work on concepts and reporting time and again for each implementation. Next persona is Connie. Who says I spend much of my time in user training. So I want to hand over dictionaries to ground user that needs minimal changes. And next is easy content management in charge. She primarily thinks about the standard, deadlines, and implementation. What she says is, I do not want to rework on same content that other organizations have already worked with. I believe in sharing of resources. From all the user interviews and persona creation, we found three different types of terminology team setup among our implementers, from limited to some to more content team resources. Among them, limited team resource is the most common one. But all of them had one thing in common that they lack in-house terminology exports. So they need to reach out to, all, to other organization or the team like CIL team to finalize on their concepts. Now, keeping in mind about the pain points and priorities of our users, we have decided on few of the things for 2022, which includes OCL, Web App and Dictionary Manager UI unification, clear content review, customization of concepts, and to focus on easy use of content management. Further, if you have any queries, please reach out to me or Grace, Director of Product, and also connect through Slack and learn more about uh, Dictionary Manager from our wiki and user guide. Please join us in our weekly call on Wednesday 2 p.m. UTC. Thank you.